Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to part two of Survivor Series, and we open up with the World Heavyweight Championship match. The only world championship on this card. King Woods is trying to get his championship back after losing a clash at the castle in Cardiff against the hometown boy, Drew McIntyre. But this is a two out of three falls match because Drew McIntyre pinned King Woods twice at Clash of the Castle, technically, uh, and King Woods suggested we do this, which makes no sense because he was the one who got pinned twice. But he seems to have a plan up his sleeve because he, he seemed very on for it, so... Let's see how this goes against the World Heavyweight Champion Drew McIntyre with the sword. The broken dreams, they're coming true. They came true last time, and will they come true tonight? This is a banger theme song. It's going to be a banger episode. You don't even know what's coming. Later tonight, we got that four on four, that Team Cody versus Team Vince, and now we got a World Heavyweight Championship match right now. Let's get it on. Drew McIntyre, King Woods, two out of three falls. Open up Survivor Series Part 2 with King Woods already trying to catch him off guard here, maybe for the first fall. Whoa! Okay, all right, Drew McIntyre can't believe it. It's 1-0 Woods already. Glasgow's kiss. All right, here we go. This is gonna be a fun ride. King Woods already got 1-0 on Drew McIntyre. Like I said, join the Discord. We talk about the stuff. We talk about the Survivor Series. We talk about the real world. We talk about everything. You could talk to me in person if you really want. Not in person, but over voice if you really want to. King Woods with a back back body drop. And then that kick to the back. Drew McIntyre doesn't feel it. Into the corner we go. Drew went for a kick. But no, Woods, no crucifix. Try to get another fall. This could win him the match here. Trying to roll him up again. No. Drew kicks out. And now that rolling elbow. But Drew does not feel it once again. That big forearm. And now in the corner he goes. Big splash. And now he's cut him by the back of the neck. What a shot. A clubbing blow to the chest. And now he's got him by the ears. Okay. King Woods did just lose to Sheamus on SmackDown. So make it that which you will. But Woods is already up to 1-0. Uh, so you know what? Bulldog. And now here we go. King Woods with a drift away. Xavier Woods, his New Day, former New Day brethren, Big E, has a match later tonight against Gunta, which is going to be a lot of big meaty men doing the thing that we don't, that we, we, we all know that saying. We all know how it goes. Oh, Woods went for the knee. And now Drew McIntyre taking him right back down. Here we go. Woods, no back up to his feet. Back on the attack he goes. And now just slowing the pace down. What a shot. Up to the top rope we go. Leg drop. No, Woods. Couldn't hit it. Drew McIntyre get out of the way, and now he's powering up King Woods with ease. With absolute ease. Big suplex. Just a solid suplex. Now kick to the gut. Double underhook. Oh, future shock. DDT. Cover on Woods to get a fall. I almost said to retain, but he doesn't have a fall yet. He does not have a fall. And now Woods, here we go. Reverse suplex. Okay. And now this little maneuver, which I don't know what to call, but it looks kind of cool. I don't know, but Woods sent him into the corner. Big forearm. Here we go. Up to the middle rope we go. Go for an elbow drop. Not quite the up, up, down, down. But he's going. Oh, I thought he was going to go for it, but a big splash anyway. McIntyre, what a clothesline. And now, oh, he's going for something while he was seated in the corner. But Woods grabbing his leg and shoving him right back down. And now he's calling for the honor roll. The honor roll. He got caught in a claymore last time. And he decides against it. He got caught in the Claymore last time and didn't want to do it. Now McIntyre, though, was given a chance to, to, to recover. And oh, went for the Glasgow's kiss as he got back in the ring. But a neck breaker from Woods. Rolling elbow. And oh, he's going for some big jab there. But oh, Claymore! Claymore! To even it up! To make it one to one on King Woods! No! Woods kicked out. McIntyre can't believe it. And oh, wait. Kick to the gut. Woods got him for the last breath. Cover on McIntyre. Whoa, McIntyre kicked out. I thought Woods was going to get his championship back. Wait, Woods, where are you going? Woods is grabbing a kendo stick. Wait, this is going to disqualify him. He just got disqualified. It's one to one. It is one to one, and he gets rid of the kendo stick. Drew McIntyre gets a fall, but at what cost? King Woods might get the advantage now that he, he uh, used the kendo stick. He is on a roll here, and speaking of going on a roll, he's calling for the honor roll. Maybe he gets caught in a claymore. Maybe he decides against it. He didn't do that. And now that clothesline. The honor roll. And now got him again for the butterfly lung blower. The last breath off the advantage. No. McIntyre resilient. How the hell did he do it? Oh, my God. Oh, ooh, went for a big boot. And now he beat these big jabs from King Woods. And now he's busting a move. Dropping a split. Okay, we just busted him wide open. Now up to the top. Up, up. Down, down, busted Drew McIntyre open. No, McIntyre kicked out. And no way, McIntyre's up to his feet. The crimson mask on his forehead, calling for the Claymore. Wait, on a roll out of it. Oh my God, no way, he kept up. Oh, no way, he got out of it. Claymore, 
Claymore to retain the championship. Two falls. Yes. Drew McIntyre wins the two out of three falls match and retains the World Heavyweight Championship. What a finish. King Woods tried to get the advantage. He got him early with the roll-up. He used the kendo stick to make it one-to-one, -one, but he couldn't take advantage from it then on. That is your world champion still, and we got more on Survivor Series. Now here comes Carmelo Hayes. We know he don't miss. We know he's him, and he's got a United States Championship match tonight. He's got no Trick Williams by his side. That is a interesting development tonight. Hopefully we can go one on one tonight. But he's facing Legado de Fantasma Santos Escobar. But Carmelo Hayes beat the Miz after we asked Santos if he was going to do that open challenge. He said no. Melo said I'll earn that bitch anyway. And now we're here. He'll face the United States Champion Santos Escobar, and he's coming out alone. No Legato, no Electra Lopez, no Joaquin Wild, no Cruz del Toro. It's just Mano y Mano tonight. The Emperor of Lucha Libre looking to continue his reign of the United States Championship. Let's see, is Melo gonna miss tonight? Already a spine buster from the Emperor of Lucha Libre. Jesus, we started out this match hot tonight. Santos slowing it down immediately though. Now up to the top. What a five star frog splash. Odd nod to Eddie Guerrero, Rey Mysterio with the entire Rey Mysterio. And now Carmelo's got him out on the apron. Whoa, what a DDT. These two starting out hot. Okay, Santos and Carmelo now out on the outside. No way, Melo on the attack here. Got him by the legs and oh God, it's the leg trap DDT on the outside there on the mats out there and now just elbows to the to the to the groin type area and now springboarded crossbody and now into a cover off of it looking to get the United States Championship is not going to happen that easily and now out on the apron he goes and out on the outside but now we're back in the ring here Carmelo is celebrating and I, I don't think that's the, the smartest idea there Melo but Melo able to send him off, but he's got him locked on the ropes with his arm. Oh, German suplex. And now uh, Santos, he's got him. He's shoving his face against the mat and now stomping the hell out of him. Stomping a mud hole in him, if you will. And now, whoa, 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 Fujiwara. Tilt a whirl into the Fujiwara arm bar from Carmelo Hayes. His feet might be in the ropes. I don't know, but Santos able to get out of it. Here we go in the corner. What a chop. What a German suplex. And now ring around the goddamn Rosie. Okay, Santos. Damn, that slap was personal. All right, he's calling for the, for the, I thought he was gonna call for the Phantom Driver, but he's going for the Axe Kick. That's what, that's what Carmelo does. Holy, oh, but his hand is right under that rope. Ref, you better, you better call that. But now he's got his arm trapped there and no, uh, whoa. A little submission hold. Whoa, he is, he's doing a one leg. Oh, he's stretching the shit out of him with this one leg, single leg Boston Crab kind of thing with the arm trapped. Jesus, but he lets off of it now up to the top rope going for another. No, he got his knees up Melo, He's back on the attack here. No trick Williams. No uh, Legato del Fantasma Jesus with that cutter, but Santos still on the attack here. What a gut buster going for the Phantom Driver No way he caught that chop Santos. No way kick takes down Carmelo. No takes out Santos Carmelo on the attack kick to the gut X kick the right way this time No, another rope break and now whoa a poke to the eye referee. What are you doing there? I don't know, but Carmelo now springboarded off the apron with a clothesline. And now once again, we got the axe kick. Okay, into the cover. No rope breaks inside. Carmelo Hayes to win the United States Championship. No, Santos, he's still in this. And now he's got him locked in. Looking to crunch him. A dude buster. Caught him up for the Phantom Driver. No, Carmelo on the attack. No way, Santos back in it. That's a far leg. No way! Santos flying, but he caught his leg here. Carmelo and Sherman suplex out of it. And now into the corner we go with Santos Escobar. He's got Carmelo Hayes. Oh, what an elbow. Oh, sending him down. Whoa, Carmelo. No, <laughs> leg drop up to the top. Melo gets up to his feet. He was going for a crossbody, but he was caught out of the air. But Santos, now he's got him up on the top rope. These two just going back to back to back to fourth and back and fourth dropping him on the turnbuckle and i'm off the ropes we go for leg drop no mellow here we go ddt he moved from the leg drop and now he's got him up maybe going for that cutter there but santos takes it down with a reverse ddt no wait mellow here we go oh, oh look at these jabs dusty rose would be proud of these goddamn jabs okay oh god and it's only a matter of time before legato del fantasma attacks trick williams up on the stage sunset flip Jesus, walking wild. But now up to the top rope. Go for, oh, nothing but net. But now he turns him into the Phantom Driver. Santos off the distraction. He retains the United States Championship.
sort of with the help of Legado Del Fantasma, but it didn't really distract Carmelo Hayes. They just kind of beat up Trick Williams for no reason. Santos Escobar, still your United States champion. Will he have as long, as, uh, as long of a run as Finn Balor did? Only time will tell. Don't make me say the word. Don't make me say these words. We got big meaty man slapping me. We got Big E out here tonight. He's ready for this match. He wants this match. He has lost his direction ever since losing the Universal slash World Heavyweight Championship. And now he gets the match to get him back on track. He's got no Kofi Kingston with him tonight. Hopefully another mano a mano matchup as he goes up against Gunther, the ring general. No Ludwig, no Vinci, just one on one. Big meaty men. This is exactly what Big E wants. Hopefully this will get Big E back on track, but Gunther recently just debuted on the main roster. He beat Brock Lesnar at SummerSlam, so you know, that's something. And he brought his boys along with him, so let's get it one-on-one -on -one here tonight. I couldn't go without saying it. Oh my God, Gunther just kicked the shit out of Big E just to start this match. All right, I see how we go around here. I see how Gunther handles his business. Jesus, the curb stomp, not even the curb stomp, just the stomps. And a butterfly suplex, no way, Big E, here we go. All right, and now giving him the punches and punches, pounding and giving him the business on the mat there. Here we go, Big E, oh my God, that's a big fella to be holding up like that for a military press. He just threw him in the air. Holy damn. And now go wrench. Go wrench suplex to Gunther. And now look at this wrestling style takedown from Big E. No way. Gunther flips it. He flips the, 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 oh God, what the advantage, the momentum, what is the word? The, the leverage. There you go. See, I'm, I'm, I'm good at this. And that German suplex. And oh my God, right. A knee to the side of the head. And now again. And now Gunther, he's going to do it again. Jesus, camera angle change. Big A, oh my god, Big A just running up to him and punched him in the gut about eight times. And now here we go, Big E, aside Yuranagi. Oh god, Gunther takes him down into the corner we go. And now he's just gonna grab him and throw him halfway across the ring. All right, I see how we go around here. No way, Big E, he's still in this. Here we go, and into the corner he goes. And now he's got Gunther in his grass running to the other corner. And he's not done. He's gonna run right back to the other corner where he started. And now, oh, I thought he was gonna go for the big ending but no, a little body slam there. No way, Gunther. Oh, he was going for a clothesline. Send him down with the STO. Oh my God, did you see how easy that was? Oh my God. Big E is power cleaning him and pressing him over his head. All right there, Big E. No, he's gonna go for the power bomb from the bottom. Oh, I thought he was gonna do it again, but no, Gunther sends him off. Went for that big old clothesline, but to no avail. Then I'll go there, little headbutt there. Okay. Now he's got him slowing it down here for a, a shout out to Goldberg, a jackhammer, a jackhammer from Gunther. No way, Big E fights out of the corner, but he caught his leg. Here we go into the other corner, goes Gunther, what a boot. And now he's going him for another gut wrench suplex, deadlifting him. And now he's got him. Power Bob into the cover near the ropes, but it might not work as Gunther, no. Big E kicks out. Big E's up to his feet. Dropkick takes him down. Oh my god. Big E is coming back here in this match. Tilt the world. And now right to the side of the goddamn head. Right to the ear of Gunther. Right to the Austrian ears. Big E, where are you going? What a splash. And off the ropes for a big old splash. Now he's calling for the big ending. No. Gunther gets out of it. What a drop kick. Whoa. Clothesline turning him inside out. Giving him the business on the mat. And now here we go. Side Yuranage spinning it around. And now, oh my god, he's stacked up on that turnbuckle. Shout out to Seamus real quick. Banger after banger. Right to the 10 beats of the Baldrin. Whatever it's called. Jesus. Now, oh my god, look at the way he fell. And now we're out on the outside here. Gunther's got Biggie onto the announce table. God. And now under the, oh, I thought he's going to go under the apron, but Biggie gets out of it. Now he's got him and he's going to put him on the apron and he's going to spin him around. Into the ring we go, Biggie. Got Gunther up to the top rope and oh my God, a military press out of it. How many military gorilla presses can a man do before he loses the, the strike? Jesus. Now, oh my God, Gunther. Gunther, he's got Big E up on the top rope for a super plex. Oh my god, but Big E, he's still fighting through it. And now he's got him for another 
power bomb. These two just showing the strength, showing the big meat. Wait, what the? That is a wild sentence I just said, but what a shot from Gunther. No way, Biggie. He's still in this. These two back and forth. Oh, another chop, and I'm pulling him back up for another chop. No way, Biggie fights out of it. He's got him in his grasp. Here we go. Big ending. This is how he won the first ever Universal Championship match. No. Gunther barely barely did it and now Gunther back on his attack now no Biggie here we go with that elbow and that big clothesline and now he's got him up for the big ending again no way Gunther gets out of it sending him into the corner rebounding for a German suplex now here we go no way that chop Jesus Christ and now Gunther up to the top rope we go oh no he's gonna bring him up with him Gunther He's gonna bring up Biggie for an avalanche power bomb. Cover, Gunther does it. No! Biggie kicked out and he dodged that. You know, he takes him down. It's like a zigzag. Okay, oh my god, what a boot. But no, Gunther, here we go. As I said, still in this. Jesus. And now again, power bomb. Oh no, he's stacking him up. Going for a second power bomb. He's stacking him up again for the trifecta. Into the cover, Gunther to beat Big E in this big meeting. No! Oh God, there's Eichner, there's Vinci, there's Ludwig. No wait, Kofi of the New Day! What a trust fall, let's just act like you did him. Oh my God, Kofi. Big E now, no. Gunther sends him out here, sends him down, and now he's going up to the top. What a splash! Gunther, even with the help of Kofi Kingston, Gunther picks up a big, big 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 victory here tonight at survivor series putting the first ever universal champion to bed do the pose at home and now we're going into our next match now here comes the est of wwe and monday night raw and jcp bianca belair she finally gets her one-on-one -on -one raw women's championship match after she had it against becky lynch at SummerSlam, but Liv morgan cashed in the money in the bank briefcase to stop that match literally cashed it in, in the middle of the match bianca's been trying to get this championship match but becky took it at clash of the castle because of her uh, rematch clause that she is entitled to she earned it by running the gauntlet against five other women or six whatever it was so she'll finally get her shot at Liv Morgan and the Raw Women's Championship tonight. She's looking to continue her reign. She's got Rhea Ripley, who's been protecting her for the past month or two. So she'll play a, a big factor in this match, maybe. Only if someone else comes out, I feel like. Because Rhea's not just going to cheat for her. It's only to even the odds and protect Liv. But we got this Raw Women's Championship match tonight. Finally, Bianca Belair gets her match, and she's gonna try to prove that she deserved this match. She ran a gauntlet against, oh god, here we go. Asuka, I, not in order at all. Asuka, Carmella, Zelina Vega, Electra Lopez, uh, Becky Lynch, and was that it? I don't really quite remember if there was another one in that match, but oh my god, Bianca taking her down. And Liv Morgan, she's had this protector in you know, Rhea Ripley, I don't know what's going on there. A bow dog, you, you, if you know, you know, a little bow dog there from Liv Morgan. Wonder who she got that one from. Now Bianca Belair off the rope, she goes, little split legged. Nope. Liv got her knees up and you know, out on the apron. We, no, not on the apron. She went past the apron all the way to the outside, but Bianca Belair got her out on the outside, dangerously close to that announce table. She's doing squats. She is doing squats with another woman in her grasp. And it's not like, it's not like she's just lifting up Alexa Bliss, who was like the tiniest, like five feet of everything. Like, like that's crazy. Bianca Belair is a crazy woman. But Liv Morgan up to the top. Ah! Ah! You see the speed and velocity on that, on that dive? Okay. And Bianca Belair, she's got Liv Morgan in the middle of the ring for a little glam slam action. Shout out to Beth Phoenix. And now, but wait, here we go. A code breaker. Shout out to Ricochet. Definitely not Chris Jericho, but because he does a side one, you know. And now into the cover. No, Bianca kicks out. But oh, the flatliner. The flatliner from Liv Morgan. Cover on Belair in the middle of the ring to retain. No, Belair kicks out of that. Ch the Chucky inspired gear. But oh, spare. 
Oh my god, but Liv Morgan still in this pop-up Hurricane Rana up to the top. Bianca, she was getting up to her feet, but an elbow drop, sending her down. Jesus, just back and forth. Not even back and forth, just back to back, sending her down on the mat. And now she's got her, no way Bianca gets out of it. What a slap, that was personal. Oh my god, now she's got her for a power bomb. No, sending her front ways. And now, oh my, whoa, military press, like a Biggie did Gunther, but like... This one, I mean, obviously not as impressive because Liv Morgan Gunther is different. But Liv Morgan, what the hell? How are you still in this? Liv Morgan, she just takes a military press and gets out of it. Whoa, handspring in. Tilt a whirl, head scissor in. Okay, scissor me. That, like, like the, like the acclaim stuff, not in the other way. Here we go, Liv Morgan up to the second rope. No, whoa, Bianca. Up to the top rope she goes. 450. 450 splash from Bel Air. Cover on Morgan. No. Morgan kicked out. Oh, she's going for that flatliner again. But Bianca, fall away slam. Up to the top. Again, 450. No, she got her knees up. And now she's got her up on the ropes for an elevated flatliner. But no, Bianca, she's doing squats again with Liv Morgan in a power slam. Now she's calling her up for the KOD. Here we go. Face buster. A face buster out of it. But Becky Lynch is here. Why? This doesn't pertain to you anymore. This doesn't pertain Becky. Oh, God damn it. Um, here comes Rhea Ripley. Oh, my God. Stomping a mud hole in Becky Lynch. Liv Morgan's protector. Rhea Ripley. And I'm up on the rampway going for the riptide. Oh, my God. Rhea Ripley is feeling it. And I wait. Back in the ring we go. Another 450. No. And she got hung up on the ropes. Oblivion off the missed 450. Liv Morgan hits the Oblivion. And she does it. Liv Morgan retains the Raw Women's Championship off of protection from Rhea Ripley. Missed 450s. Becky Lynch getting her uh, getting her nose involved again. It doesn't pertain to you anymore, but hey, we got one more match. It's, you, you know, you know the match. Four on four. Team Cody, Team Vince. I don't ever slow up. No, I don't take shit. I got no love. And the fake is if you want to play tough and want to hate this, I'll always show up. And I will be awarding it to John Cena. If you were so irritated by Vince having a group of people ready to help him settle your differences in a Survivor Series match, I agree with Bray Wyatt. I got facts over facts over tracks is a mess spitting slow spitting fast like a roast like a gas think I'm okay at last but I do one last time and, and then I'll leave you alone <sighs> fine theme in a burger like my name is Jay is Randy Orton on Vince McMahon's team you to feel free from the chains at last and to believe in what you got it was built to last yeah I guess I'll have to do it myself. Now it is main event time. Team Vince versus Team Cody. And here comes the WWE champion, the official champion, because, you know, we've had a couple issues with that. There's a whole situation. If you know, you know. So John Cena, the doctor of thugonomics, after turning his back and joining forces with Vince McMahon, is the leader, technically, of Team Vince, even though Vince is the, the guy on the name. But he will team up with Randy Orton, who recently made his return. We haven't seen him in a couple months, but he RKO Dominic Mysterio backstage and join team Vince in that capacity he's always been around with Vince always been a part of the authority so I guess it makes sense and the third man triple H Hunter Hearst Hemsley the blue blood in here triple H he had that one-on-one -on -one match at Starcade against Cody Rhodes for the WWE Championship and Vince said one more favor just one last time and I'll leave you the hell alone and speaking of Vince here is Vincent Kennedy McMahon himself Holy shit. Another match from Vince. He had the match at SummerSlam one-on-one. -on -one. I thought that was just going to be a one-off thing, but ever since Theory left his team, he had to do it himself. So, yeah, Vince is on this team. He's having a match again. And, of course, they face Team Cody, and here is the leader. Cody Rhodes, the winged eagle WWE champion, has been holding that ever since he won it. But 
It's not the official championship because Vince didn't sanction the design or whatever that stupid excuse was basically just to get the thing off of him because Vince doesn't like it. Cody's gonna lead a, a, a weird team, a, a hodgepodge of people in this match as number one is Austin Theory. Theory has been Vince's bitch for the last couple of months and Theory finally snapped, fought out of it and now he's on Cody Rhodes' team and as well as Stone Cold Steve Austin. Stone Cold came out in the middle of the Cody Rhodes versus Vince McMahon match and even the odds given a stunner to Shane McMahon and Triple H and uh, uh, virtually helping Cody Rhodes get the win there after the interference. And I didn't think Stone Cold would step in the ring after just giving a couple stunners, but here we are, Stone Cold getting another favor from Cody Rhodes and being on his team. And now the fourth man, we do not know who this fourth man is. Nobody knows except for me and me only and Ryler. And who is it, Cody? Did you even find one? Are we gonna get a Kevin Owens War Games moment in NXT where he comes out at the very last second? Is it gonna be God? I mean, Vince McMahon's on the other team. Might want his revenge in a match. Remember that match with God? Or is it the devil himself? That's right. One night only. I've called Tony Khan and got myself a favor. I've taken the AEW champion, Maxwell Jacob Friedman, MJF. That's why he wasn't on Dynamite this week, because he's making his first entrance as champion on my show. Max is Cody's boy, man. It's like his kid. He got the job in AEW because of Cody. He calls him the American Roller Coaster. They're best buds, so MJF is here to help out Cody Rhodes, probably the only person in this world he likes, and that's including his fiance. So let's get it. Team Cody versus Team Vince right now. Come on, man. I always told you one-offs could happen. Oh, Cody Rhodes and John Cena are opening up this match. Not again. And the Cody Cutter. Not again with these two. Not again. We had that for like nine minutes last time. I'm not doing it. I'm not doing it. Cody gets out of it. Oh, they're already reversing the reversals of the reversals. Jesus, they're going to kick out of literally everything. You know, Cody's got him. No way. Got Cena. Reverse and stepping on his foot. And a reversal. And a reversal. I'm not doing this again with y'all, Cena and Cody. Whoa. What a, a fisherman suplex. And now here comes uh, Randy Orton. And here comes Cody Rhodes. <laughs> there goes Cody Rhodes. Okay. Never mind. And crossroads. And now Vince, Vince McMahon's going to break it up. And oh god, he's been waiting to get his hands on him. Stone Cold's trying to get involved, but you know, Cody's kind of busy with him. Not no, he's like 70 years old! The Verna Breaker! Cody Rhodes, damn no wait, Randy Orton's oh my god. Randy Orton finally back in this universe, but we haven't seen him since Star Cave. It's been a very long time. He has not won a match yet. So, you know, it's not like Randy Orton. Eventually he's gonna have to win a match. But you know, he could pin people tonight and still not win a match. Jesus, Randy. And now tagging to Austin Theory. All right, I like this. Austin Theory and Randy Orton going at it. And now that sunset flip out of the power bomb. He's got him locked here. No way Theory kicks out. And Triple H and Cody Rhodes are going at it. Vince McMahon's out there. Cena's out there. Another backbreaker to Austin Theory. And now, all right, how y'all want me to commentate this? Cena just hit a Michinoku on Cody Rose on the outside. And Randy Orton's going vintage on Austin Theory. He's got him hung up on the ropes for the DDT. Randy Orton. And now look at this. x or suplex. And now all oh, the classic. The classic Randy Orton stomping and stomping and stomping on him. Every single limb. Every single artery. Randy Orton's going to target them. No, wait. Theory gets out of it, but oh, short arm clothesline there, and he's he's posed into the crowd, but Theory gets the tag into Stone Cold. This is a dream match. Oh, but Randy immediately gets out, but this is also a dream match. What a spine buster, and Stone Cold's just going after all of them. Stone Cold going after Cena and Orton, shoving Cena's face and neck up against the mat, and now he's got, no, no, oh, pile driver, pile driver, but no, Cena's still in this. Cena after the pile driver. Not another Michinoku. This one is Stone Cold. He's got him locked in. Pinfall possibly could happen. No, a kick out of two from Stone Cold. Here comes Triple H. All right. We've seen this a lot of times. Elbow drop. And now Triple H tags in Randy Orton. All right. We get this dream match again. Randy Orton. Stone Cold just going after everybody, it seems. That punch sent him all the way into the corner. But no, wait. Randy gets out of it. No, wait. He catches him. And now, okay. Atomic drop. Now go for another. But Randy gets out of it. But no, wait. Stone Cold still in this. Bulldog. Bulldog. Busted Randy Orton open, and Cody Rhodes is going to take a pin off of that after getting tagged in. No. 
Oh, Vince! Oh, God, Vince! Oh, Spy Buster to Vince! Where did Austin Theory come from? Randy Orton, he's got Austin Theory. And now Cody Rhodes grabbing the leg of Vince McMahon. Power bomb from Randy to Austin. And Randy and Cody are the only ones legal. Now, wait, Cena got tagged in and Theory's running the hell away from Triple H. That is hilarious. But Cody's got Cena in the ring. Crossroads! Crossroads cover on Cena. MJF tried to get in the damn ring. It's the only action we see from MJF. Theory is still running from Triple H. Theory is still running from Triple H. <laughs> that is still a thing that's happening. That's really funny. Uh, MJF is still in the ring. Theory's got Triple H now on the outside. What a spinning move. Elbow from Cena. And an electric chair. No, Cena. Cody's going to get out of it. Here we go, Cody. Oh, no way. Went for some kick there. Cena's got him. A little hip toss maneuver. Big clothesline from Cena. Up to the top rope we go. Going for a fist punch. But Cody, here we go. Flatliner. And I'm grabbing it by the side of the head. Big shot from Cena. And he tags in Maxwell Jacob Friedman going up against John Cena. Whoa. What a, what a power bomb. No, Cena's back at the attack side. Tagging to Randy Orton. Spear from Maxwell. And big chop. MJF, the AEW World Champion, is in this. But Spinebuster from his maybe current, maybe boss in 2024. You never know. But here we go. What a shot. Jesus, MJF giving him the business, giving Triple H the business, and now he's going for the salt of the earth, the arm bar, the arm bar submission, but no, Randy Orton's going to save it, I don't know why we needed Cody Rhodes' ass in the shot, but wait, he's got Randy Orton, heat seeker, heat seeker from MJF, and he tags in Austin Theory, Austin Theory definitely wants revenge on Triple H, not after last night's Survivor Series, not after that, with the US title victory in the real world, Austin Theory, he's rolling up Randy Orton here, he's got him stacked up, oh! He just eliminated Randy Orton, and he's proud of himself. Austin Theory with an upset. Oh, no. Okay, no. Randy Orton. Oh, no. Triple H is legal now. Off the RKO. Austin's gone. Uh, no, Austin Theory. Not Stone Cold Steve Austin, but there is Stone Cold. Stone Cold. Stone Cold. Stone Cold. What? These punches? Oh, my God. Jesus, Stone Cold. You're going crazy, but now we're down to three on three with these motherfuckers. Now Stone Cold giving him, okay, stopping a mud hole, up to the top rope, with a double axe handle, and now he's got him up, sending him into the corner with snake eyes, shout out to The Undertaker, Triple H got him now, Jesus, sending him down, now we got Cena, but wait, Cena just gets into the match, and a Thez press from Stone Cold Steve Austin, here we go, tagging to Cody Rhodes, not these two, we had this at Clash of the Castle, he's got an armbar locked in, but Vince McMahon gonna break that shit up, Vince McMahon gonna get sent out, and now MJF's back in, the AEW champion is back in, and now he's back with Triple H, his baby boss, like I said, in 2024, Triple H might have to sign that man, but MJF is turning over, a new leaf, oh, what an eye poke, classic MJF going for a gut wrench, but oh, Triple H sends him out there, oh, kicks to the gut, he's got him in for the pedigree to Maxwell Jacob Friedman, cover on MJF, MJF to eliminate him. No. Did Stone Cold get it or did MJF kick out? It could have been both. No, he went for something there. Big knee from Triple H. No, wait. MJF, he's still in this. Gonna send him into the corner. Tag into the American Roller Coaster. These two that seem to be best buds. Oh, what a combination maneuver. Tag into Stone Cold. He went for something big there. Went for a close on. Stutter! Stutter from Stone Cold as soon as he gets in the match. Wasting no time. Triple H is gone. Holy shit. Now Triple H, he's distracting the referee. Oh, no, Vince. The low blow after the referee distraction from Triple H. And Cena's in the ring. He's the legal man now. And he eliminates Stone Cold Steve Austin. Wow. But, oh, Cody Rhodes didn't appreciate it. Cody Rhodes did not appreciate the dick punch from, from Vince McMahon. And he's getting busy with him on the outside. What a knee. And another spine buster. Oh my god. Wait, but that leaves Cena and MJF. F you. F you from Cena. And Maxwell's gone. Wow, that's that's all we'll see. MJF, maybe till 2024. We may see you in 2024, but this is a one-off appearance. So MJF is done for here. And now wait a minute. He's got Vince! Vince is finally legal! Oh wait, Cena. No, wait! Ah! MJF! What are you doing? I thought you were done. I thought you were out of here. He just low blowed Cody Rhodes. Oh no, no way. No, no. Vince into the cover. Cena watches on. No. Oh, oh. Vince McMahon just pinned Cody Rhodes and Team Vince. 
has won. Vince McMahon and John Cena are the sole survivors. Vince McMahon just handed Cody Rhodes his first ever L in this universe mode. Whoa, 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 whoa. No, 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 no. See, so you think I'm going to be silent during this? No, we're not doing this again, Bray. We're not doing this. Oh, no. Oh, no. He's zooming in. There's Alexa Bliss up on the stage. I don't know what else to tell you. They're, they're the Wyatt Six are here. Um, I'm going to talk over this so I don't get copyrighted. That's literally all I'm doing this for. Um... There he is. There's Bray Wyatt. He's behind you, Cena. Vince is trying to go after him, but he doesn't realize he's behind him. Bray Wyatt's sister, Abigail, on Cena. Vince just realized it. Vince is going in the ring. Vince with a punch to Bray Wyatt. Now he got caught. And now Bray's going after Vince with a sister, Abigail, again. And oh, he's got the WWE Championship. Does he, does he want it? Does Bray want the WWE Championship? He's got it. That's Cena's title. And Bray, oh, he sets it down. He's leaving. Bray, he's conflicted. He doesn't know what's going on. He doesn't know who's telling him what to do. Does Bray want the championship? What is going on? That's it for Survivor Series. I'll see you all for Raw.